You need your coffee. I need my coffee all the time. But like these are my pajamas that I, I'm wearing out. You wore them to church this morning. I wore them to church this morning. Well, I'm not even apologizing about it anymore. Here's the thing. I know you need coffee, but okay. one of the things that really helps you get your day moving more than coffee, electrolytes. We got the new ones from Perfect Keto. Hey, what's up, family? I'm Rachel. And I'm Joe. And we are Two, Two Crazy, Crazy Ketos. Ketos. And if you're new to our channel, welcome. Here on Two Crazy Ketos, we do different things like recipe videos and we do product reviews. We talk about various keto topics and then every Monday, we sit down on the couch for Keto on the Couch. We just kind of talk about what's going on in our lives for the week. You can find us in different social media platforms like Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And we have a website, which is twocrazyketos.com. And that's where you're gonna find all of our different recipes. Now we do upload at least five new videos every single week. So make sure you subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to hit the little bell icon and that way every single time we upload a new video, you'll be alerted to it. So when you get started on the keto lifestyle, one of the most important things you need to pay attention to is electrolytes. Yeah, because if you don't have these, you are going to feel the effects of what people call the keto flu, which yeah. is you're going to have dizziness, you're going to feel just genuinely blah, headaches, headaches, cramps, it's terrible. Yeah, so there are a lot of different options out there and we've tried a few of them, but now over the years we've gotten better and better and better ones and I'm glad to see that Perfect Keto has jumped on board with some electrolytes. Uh, they sent us some, we've not tried them yet. Uh, we do have a coupon code down below. It's two crazy ketos. That will get you 15% off, but it is a one time use coupon. So you might want to get a bunch of stuff if you want to use up that coupon. You know, it's one time per email address. Mm -hmm. So they have four flavors. They sent us two different flavors. Now, one thing, if you're new to keto, the three electrolytes you really need to be concerned about, the ones that are the most important, right. are gonna be potassium, magnesium, and sodium. You wanna get somewhere between three to 4,000 milligrams a day of potassium, three to 4,000 milligrams a day of sodium, which that one's not difficult, just salt your food, use something good like Redmond Real Salt or something like that, and then also about 300 milligrams of magnesium. And the way you're gonna know like what you're kind of deficient in, if you're getting headaches, heart palpitations, maybe a little bit of dizziness, things like that. Very scary stuff. That is usually gonna come from not having enough sodium. Again, just up your sodium, you know, use some rub and real salt, lick on the salt rocks, anything like that. Potassium is gonna affect muscle cramps and stuff. So if you're out, like, you know, you think about like kids who do play sports, what's the first thing they grab is like a banana, right? Right. it's high in potassium. Well, you need a lot of potassium and Unfortunately, a lot of the place you're gonna get it is from things that we can't eat, like bananas and stuff. Right. The other one is magnesium, and magnesium is really gonna be like leg cramps while you're sleeping and stuff like that. And the thing about magnesium is, it's very difficult to get it in the foods that we eat on a keto diet, because a lot of times it's in foods that are kind of like a no-no on keto. But you still need it, and it's so important because honestly, if you're not getting a good amount of magnesium, you're not gonna sleep well. Right. And if you're not sleeping well, it is going to actually uproot some of your health goals. Yeah. So we have, they sent us two flavors. We have four total. Um, so they sent us lemon lime, and they, I'm actually excited about this one, pink lemonade, because I've always liked pink lemonade. The flavors that we don't have are black cherry, which I'm kind of sad about, and watermelon. And I love watermelon, so yeah. I wish they would have sent us the watermelon. But I'm glad to we've see got this. pink lemonade because that's either awesome or terrible in my experience. So we got we got two bottles here. We'll start off with Wonder Woman. With with a mismatched top, what flavor do we want it to start off with? It actually matches great. Which which flavor do you want to start with? Um, let's start with pink lemonade. Pink lemonade. Because I'm gonna judge this product largely by the pink lemonade. Okay, so don't use your teeth. Too late. Okay, so it says one scoop is a serving, mm -hmm. and I'm looking to see if it says how much water to actually add this to, which it doesn't. So. I would normally fill this all the way up to put a scoop of if I'm using Redmond or something, but I wanted to give it a fair shot. Thank you. So I did a half because a lot of times they're like one scoop per like eight to 10 or right. 16 ounces. Right, eight to 10 ounces usually. And this is like, I think 26 ounces. Mm. 
Ooh, that smell smells good? delicious. Okay, smells like a pink lemonade. Something. It's got a little. Don't eat this package. Yeah, don't there. eat that, Joe. Okay. Got to fish find around the scoop. for the scoop. Okay, so we got a scoop. Okay, so we're gonna put one scoop in. Now I'm gonna tell you right off the it's bat. It's not completely covering our table. Very proud of that. I'm not super happy with the scoop. I like it when they make them just a little bit smaller because, okay, yeah, I can take off the top of this. But, but some I don't wanna. people, well, some people are gonna have plastic water bottles. Yeah. And that is not gonna fit in the plastic water then bottle. I do so this you gotta thing. do this. Yep. And then it's like, just like this, yeah. all over the place. Yeah. So I'm gonna let you do the shake, the autumn shake. I can't do it as good as autumn, but we're gonna give it our best shot. Here comes the shake in three, two, one. Yeah, she's so cool. She's way cooler than me. If you know what we're talking about, we're talking about Autumn from Watch Autumn Keto. I'll she's leave a, a link right up there for her channel. She's the Wonder Woman of shaking. Yeah. The Zip Fizz. All right. Close as I can I'm get. I'm going to start this next one while you're doing that. Okay. Can I get to taste it? Yeah, go ahead. Oh, it's my turn? It's your turn. Not for me. Not for you? Not for it's me. It's kind of weak. It's just, it's the pink lemonade that I'm like, mm, no. It, it, I will be honest. Stomach ache. I don't think it tastes bad. Um, it's a little medicine-y. Okay. I would say it doesn't taste like pink lemonade. No. It doesn't it, taste like pink lemonade. It tastes like when medicine's trying to be pink lemonade. <laughs> like, take this, kids. It's pink lemonade. And you're like, that's medicine. I don't uh, think it's going to taste like pink lemonade. Okay. So let's. But. I'm not surprised. It's hard to do pink lemonade right. I'm trying to do this because I don't want to take off the top. All right. Okay, I did a pretty good job there. So this is of. lemon lime. The easier way, if you weren't lazy like me, would be to just unscrew the top of the blender bottle. Lemon lime is my relight jam. So let's see how they did. Well, lemon I lime. feel like lemon lime should be a good comparison because we've tried lemon lime in four different electrolyte flavors. And they haven't been company. terrible. So like we know what a lemon lime should taste like. And I will be honest, the same thing, you have that with that one, pretty much any one of these. If you're drinking these electrolyte drinks, for like, hey, I miss drinking Mio. Right, this is not Mio. They're gonna be salty. Yeah. Now, because they have a purpose. This it's is like, not trying to be Kool-Aid. It's like drinking medicine. Like yeah. there is a purpose to this. So it's better than drinking water or just drinking a bunch of water that you've thrown a bunch of salt in. There right. is some flavor, but like, just know it is salty. So you can't really compare to that. Like we've yeah. got to compare this to other electrolyte drinks we've had. Do not compare this to a Capri Sun. This is not a Capri Sun. That one's pretty good. Better, much it's better. Pretty good. Reminds me of like lemon lime Gatorade. Yes. It's like a lot like that. I think it's a little bit sweeter than lemon lime Gatorade. Mm -hmm. You know, I think it's a little bit sweeter than lemon lime Gatorade. So pink lemonade, nah, not so much. Like I can take or leave it. Yeah. But you usually like, you don't like the berry and other flavors either. No, so I you're don't. you're kind of picky when it comes to electrolyte drinks. Sorry. So lemon lime is pretty good. It's got a nice sweetness to it. It's not quite as salty as some of the other brands that we've tried. No, either. the Relight one is, is saltier tasting than this. So you want to put this through five things? Five things. So if you're new to our channel, we review all products based on five things. We're going to talk about the ingredients. Does it keto based on a nutrition label? How does it taste? How much does it cost? And finally, would we recommend it? Okay, I'm assuming the ingredients are pretty much going to be the same. So just looking at the lemon lime, because that's the one you liked. Mm -hmm. So it does say the ingredient, other ingredients. So it's got like all of your magnesium, your chloride, your sodium, which we're going to get into. Um, citric acid, natural flavors, malic acid, so, uh, calcium silicate, uh, silicate and stevia leaf extract. So it's sweetened with stevia. Right. And uh, the pink lemonade is citric acid, natural flavors, malic acid, calcium silicate, beet juice for color, stevia leaf extract. So the only difference is the beet juice. Okay. Number two, does it keto based on a nutrition label? So the keto is going to be like what? Are there carbs in, in this? So a serving size is one scoop. There is 45 servings in here. That's, That's nice. That's pretty good. Yeah. So it's got 
25 micrograms of vitamin D, 250 milligrams of magnesium. So you're pretty much like on what you need for a day right there. Yeah. 365 milligrams of uh, chloride, so your salt, as Himalayan pink salt. So it doesn't have a lot of salt, but I'm okay with that because you can get your salt from salting your food. Right. That's where you're going to get a lot of it. Eating salted butter, putting salt on all your foods, things like that. So uh, it does have 240 milligrams of sodium. And then it's got 600 milligrams of potassium. So you're up there. That's, that's a decent amount. It's more potassium than a lot of the electrolyte drinks. The only one I know of that's going to be more than that is Zip Fizz. But that's not really an electrolyte drink. We just all use it for electrolytes because it's, it's got a delicious. thousand milligrams of potassium. And I got to say, I'm excited about the magnesium. And you got to stop for a second. Magnesium is hard to make taste good. Yeah. I mean, to make it palatable at all is very challenging. So when I put that in perspective that like I'm getting all of the magnesium that I need. Yeah. But without like some terrible taste, like that's pretty awesome so i am going to say that um it is considered a supplement therefore they don't have to tell you like the calories and stuff and they're not on here now we're on here doesn't say how many calories or how many carbs but i will tell you this based on what's in here it should be zero carb okay. because stevia is not a sugar alcohol just remember that so it should be zero carb if you want to count it as something maybe a half a carb but it should be zero carb and probably either zero calories or like five calories but again as a supplement they don't have to tell you all that stuff. Right. So, and this is going to be all of the same stuff. By the way, if you are interested, the potassium comes from potassium bicarbonate and monopotassium phosphate. So that's where they're getting the potassium from. And the magnesium is magnesium citrate. Okay. Okay. So number three, how does it taste? It tastes good. The lemon lime one is good. This one is not, is just not for me. And okay. I, and, but like you said, let me give that one another taste for myself. A lot of berry stuff is not for me. And that pink lemonade tastes like berry things. Now I will say that the lemon lime is not as salty as some of the other ones, like the Redmond Relight. But I got to say, for me, I like the salty taste. Maybe right. it's because we've been doing keto for a really long time and my taste for salt is pretty voracious. Right. Um, but for somebody that's like, I don't want a salty drink. I don't like the salt. It's too salty. You're probably going to love this. Right. I think it's it not reminds salty. me more of the one we started with. Like which Ultima. Ultima. Ultima wasn't quite as salty. No. I think we're more in the lines of there. Yeah. So when it comes to the pink lemonade, I would say personally, it doesn't, I don't think it's a bad taste. I don't think it tastes like pink lemonade. I think it tastes more like a berry flavor. So yeah. it's just something to be aware of. And unfortunately, again, we don't have the other ones. Right. So number four, how much does it cost? Okay. And this is so a big factor. On the website, it is if you buy one time, it is thirty-two dollars and ninety-nine cents. But that's for forty-five, 45 servings. servings. So it's less than a dollar a serving. Wow. And then uh, they do have a subscribe and save if you want to get it like delivered, you know, every 30 days, 45 days, whatever like that. And that drops it down to $28.04. Wow. So that's a good subscribe and save thing. And yeah. again, we do have a coupon code, two crazy ketos, that'll get you 15% off. That is very, very reasonable. I think it's pretty reasonable when you think about per serving. Yeah. So, so number five, would we recommend this? Definitely. I mean, just like all perfect keto products, I think that they're made very responsibly. But when you get to this kind of thing, it definitely comes down to your taste preference. Yeah. So you may be like, Rachel, you crazy. I love this pink lemonade flavor and you wouldn't be wrong right. because it's what you like. Taste is subjective. Exactly. There's a lot of things that I don't like the taste of that she loves the taste of, like yeah. fish. There's a lot of things that she loves the taste of or she hates the taste, but I love. So, like liver. Like, <laughs> well, let's not get that far. But again, taste is subjective. The most important thing is getting some electrolytes. I'm glad to see that some of the more reputable companies are coming out with a good balance. I feel like this has a good balance. And again, the thing that's the most important is the potassium and the magnesium because again, sodium you can get by just grabbing some Redmond Real Salt. So yeah. I'm glad to see that that's what's in here and that's what they're really taking preference with. Me too. Well, that's gonna be our video for today. Now, if you've tried these Perfect Keto Electrolytes, let us know down in the comment section what your favorite flavor is. Now, if you haven't tried them, maybe you've had another brand, yeah. let us know what your favorite brand Electrolytes is. Now, if you like seeing videos like this, make sure you check out some of the other videos that we have linked right down there. 
Also, make sure you take a look at our most recent video, which you can find right over here. But whether you head this way or you head this way, don't forget to head this way. Subscribe to our channel and click the little bell icon, and that way every single time we upload a new video, you'll be alerted to it. Until next time, bye. bye.